It's time then for day three of Special Projects Pack number four, this time kicking off with one of the vehicles which I could see being a bit of a nostalgia trip for those of us who played Gran Turismo 2, the 1995 shaped Tommy Kyra R, of course based on the R33 Skyline. Now this one of course is once again a livery designed by the community, I'll flash up the player on screen and you can click the link below in the description to add it to your library. As far as the parts, it's quite an easy one to do, being of course more of a tuner car rather than a race car. Some of the parts that I've fitted aren't quite as extreme, so more sports stuff. So I have fitted the sports silencer and I bought a couple of different exhausts for this one to see which one would have the right both power and look. So I did go for a couple of different ones. I'll show you in a second, of course, and you can just skip forward to see which one I actually fitted. I don't recall off the top of my head. We've got the sports pads though. You do want your stage one weight. I've left it on sports hard tires as well, because again, street car. As far as the club sports section, sport brakes, the discs of course, the sport clutch and flywheel, the power restrictor and the ballast. You will need the ballast on this one because we're using a little bit of that. Uh, the semi race is purchased as I said, but check in in a second as to which one I actually use, like I said. The low RPM turbo, really good low end shove there. The fully customized diff, you don't need the stage three weight. As far as the racing stuff, Again, I purchased the silencer. This one, I don't think was using that. Again, you'll see in a second anyway, but I'm pretty sure I wasn't using that one on it. You do want the torque vector and center diff, or at least I'd recommend it. The fully customized suspension, and then for the extreme section, there's nothing fitted anyway. Of course, for the visual side, you can just download what the player had already done. I don't recall changing anything myself on this one, because sometimes on liveries, I do like to make a couple of little changes. You know, maybe change a license plate here, or change a headlight color over there. I don't recall changing anything on this one. As far as the actual settings, as you can see, 565 points and I'm running roughly the same kind of numbers as both the real car and also the Gran Turismo 2 version. In Gran Turismo 2, I think it had like 410, 411 kind of horsepower, so it's a bit different there. Weight-wise, it's about what it was then, 1530. So as far as the suspension, I'll drop the ride height to 96 mil front and rear. Anti-roll is on 4, 35 for the compression on the dampers, 44 on the rebound, 2.15 for the springs, 1 degree of camber. As far as the toe, a little bit on the front, towed out by 5, then towed in by 15 on the rear. As far as the diff, I've gone for 10 and 10, then 20 and 30, 10 and 20 with a 50-50 split. I've opted, as you could see, to leave the transmission standard. You could fit a better one if you want to use it for more competitive stuff, but again, I wanted it to keep kind of that more road car feel, like a modified road car, which of course is essentially what it is, so I didn't want to go too crazy there. As far as the ballast and the power restrictor, you will be using that a little bit for this one. So you want 91% on the restrictor. And as far as the ballast, I would recommend 129 kilos to bring us up to 1530. And then I've put that all the way to the back to get a, a little bit closer to a 50-50 split. Still a little bit more over the front though, so you can all-wheel drive drift it if you want to. As far as the downforce, I've got the front midway, the rear as low as possible, so pretty minimal. It's more of a visual package, really, as far as the aero goes. The low RPM turbo fitted, likewise with the sports silencer, as you could see. Then sports brakes, pads, and of course the clutch and flywheel. And down here, of course, you can see the stage one weight. So all that remains is to jump out to Tokyo, show you what the car can do in practice, of course. So. Of course, with a 420 horsepower Skyline that still weighs over 1500 kilos, it's not going to be like a Pikes Peak car or some crazy machine. It is, though, a lot of fun to use. Of course, it's very easy to drive, super forgiving. And if you were to use it for some events, I mean, 565 points really isn't that crazy, especially on sports tyres. So if you wanted it to be even quicker, of course, you could slap some better tyres like softs or even racing ones on there. If you want to keep it road car category, though, you could probably quite handily beat most of the AI in anything up to like a 600 point level, probably even higher to be honest, especially if you're going road car versus road car. So very much a nostalgia based build as a couple of the builds in this pack are. I always like to include generally at least one of these like throwback kind of builds to like the Gran Turismo 2 days, that kind of thing. And this is certainly one of those this time around. I must admit, not a car that I used a huge amount back in Gran Turismo 2 and 
even in general, I think the R34, Tommy Kyra gets a lot more attention, which was also featured, of course, in Forza. Great looking car. This one, though, not quite as much love, which is a shame because I love the R33. It's certainly not a slow car by any stretch. So if you do decide to use it, I hope you have a ton of fun with it. Of course, show the creator some love from me and stick around for the rest of the builds on the channel in pack number four. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.